for the S&P 500, ticker symbol SPY. In this video, we're going over my trade idea of the week and the day-by-day -day probability model. So let's start off with the technical analysis on the 1R chart. We have reached to pause MACD. We're at overbought levels with the RSI. As with the 4R chart, we still remain in slightly pause MACD. We did see it converge and we're approaching to overbought condition with the RSI. We did bounce right off the 200 moving average, this green line, at a price of $416.64, acting as support. As with the daily chart, we still remain in pause MACD and we did converge. As with the trade idea, my position size for it is less than 1% of my portfolio, my long entry is at $410.90, and that is this range here, where we have the gap up between May 19th to May 20th, and if we were to fill in that gap, that would be that support level. And my sell target for it is at $422.71, and my stop loss is at $407.03. However, if I were to open a short position, my entry is at $426.64, my sell target is at $414.83, and my stop loss is at $430.65. So whichever entry price were to hit first, that will be my position of the week. So how did I develop these trade ideas? It all comes from the day-by-day -day probability model, which is available in the link below, so do check it out. As we progress to the fifth day or week of trading, the S&P 500 has a 50% chance to climb between 0 to 2 percent, to the downside has a 45 percent chance to fall between 0 to negative 2 percent, and a 5 percent chance to fall between negative 2 to negative 4 percent. So if you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.